Hey there, my name is Amanda. I also go by Keto Ginger. I've lost 120 pounds on keto. It took me less than a year to do it, and I feel amazing. If you are just starting out on keto, it's really helpful to hear some people's keto stories and kind of get to learn how they started. So this is going to be my keto story. There might be some frequently asked question answers in here as well, but I just wanted to kind of say hello to all of our new friends here on the channel and give you a little bit of insight as to how I started keto and what my story is and my why. Think of this as like keto diet for dummies. Real quick, I wanna recap on why I started this in the first place. Let's start with when I met my husband, Dan. When I met my husband, Dan, I was very, very thin. I weighed about 130 pounds. I had been eating a vegetarian diet for several years at that point. Yes, I was thin. No, I wasn't healthy. In fact, I was so unhealthy that I was having seizures, fainting spells. I was covered head to toe in bruises. But in my mind, because I was so mentally poisoned about body image, I felt like because I was thin and I was wearing a certain size that I was healthy. I wasn't. Started having a lot of health issues. Started eating the standard American diet again. Uh, so everything. I ate meat. I ate this. I ate that. I got healthier in the way that my anemia improved and that sort of, I don't want to say that I felt better, but I didn't feel as bad as when I was really at a low weight and wasn't getting enough nutrients. Fast forward, that love weight starts to pile on. You know what I mean, where you're comfortable with the person that you're with, you're extremely happy, you're going out on a ton of dates, you're making a lot of really romantic, beautiful dinners at home, at least we were. So I went from eating vegetarian to eating more of a meat, potato, fast food, takeout diet. I started to put on weight. Six months into our relationship, I got pregnant with my first son, Lincoln. <sighs> I put on so much weight, I didn't really know what to do with myself. I basically was so nervous about being pregnant and about becoming a mother that I think I ate a lot of those feelings. So I ate everything under the sun. From the time I got pregnant with Lincoln to the time that I gave birth to him, I had put on close to 90 pounds. 90 pounds. 10 pounds a month, give or take. It was bananas. So I had my son, wasn't really focused on the weight of it at the time because the gravity and the weight of becoming a mother and having a brand new baby is just so intense. I struggled with a little bit of postpartum depression because I went from having a very carefree lifestyle to now being, you know, a slave to the baby, which is exactly how you should be. I was happy to be a mom, but I was also very overwhelmed. And I was home alone all day, every day with my baby. I had a lot of anxiety about becoming a new mom. I just started eating my feelings. When Lincoln was three months old, I got pregnant again with my son Levi and put on another 50 pounds during that pregnancy. So in a couple of years time span, I went from weighing 130 pounds, maybe less, to well over 260 pounds. My highest weight, I believe, during that time frame was somewhere around 280, but I didn't weigh myself at a certain point because I just... I, was, I felt horrible. I felt horrible about myself. I felt physically horrible. I didn't want to see the number on the scale. So when I started my keto journey, I weighed around 260, 265. So I just want to tell you guys, putting on the weight is easy and it comes from food, obviously, but it really does come a lot from feelings and what you choose to stuff your face with when you are under the weather. Whether you're sick, you're anxious, you have stress, how you choose to manage that is where a lot of this extra weight comes from and it really truly did for me. Fast forward a little bit, my sons were two and one and I was having so many health issues. My seizure episodes were coming back. 
I have a skin condition called HS, which um, I can't pronounce the full long name of it. I'll leave a link down below, but it's basically a cyst condition that you get all over your body. So I had the skin condition going on. I had eczema all over my body. I had migraines. I was having recurring sinus. I was a mess and I was so young to be that sick and to be that unhealthy, I started to be afraid. Fast forward a little more time before I finally pulled the trigger. I didn't know this at the time, but both of my sons are on the autism spectrum, okay? So that means that a lot of the normal hurdles that new moms have, I was facing those, but then also different hurdles. Neither one of my children slept. They both had a lot of issues when they were younger. They were reaching milestones physically, but they weren't talking, they weren't, they weren't living their best lives. So research, research, research. I promise this is relevant. Once I found out that my older son Lincoln was on the autism spectrum, I started to do some introspective thinking and I realized that he was going to need a mother that didn't have depression issues, that didn't have anxiety issues. He needed a mother that was going to be able to physically rally for him in every single way possible. I needed energy. I needed to be sleeping completely. I needed to be confident in myself and my abilities to advocate for him to to get him what he needed. So when he got diagnosed, um, shortly before that I had started eating low carb. This is where we're gonna start to talk about the steps, I promise. Then my second son got diagnosed. Very, very long story short, starting keto wasn't just about weight loss for me. I needed to conquer my anxiety, my depression, and my self-esteem in order to be the best mother that I could possibly B. My skin condition was debilitating. I was embarrassed. I was in pain. I was uncomfortable. And the weight that I had put on over the years, I wasn't physically capable of keeping up with my kids. I couldn't chase them in the yard. I couldn't chase them in the house. I couldn't even walk around the grocery store without being so winded that I needed to sit down. It terrified me. It terrified me. And I knew that I needed to do something. So, Back, 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 many years ago, I had lost a bunch of weight eating a low carb diet. I was, I, I killed it. I lost a hundred pounds in my early twenties eating some like an Atkins diet. That always worked really well for me. So I started to revisit that throughout everything in my house, everything that was processed, all of the regular soda, all of the regular cereal, milk, you name it, I threw it away and I started from scratch in my pantry. I only brought in foods that were low carbohydrate. Now keep up because we're not doing keto yet. I'm still just low carb. I wanted to make the change slowly because like you, I was really intimidated and I had no idea how I was going to live without these things that had been comfortable me and medicating me for such a long time. I had really slipped into the food as medicine, but in a bad way. I was using it as an antidepressant, really. So I started eating low carb and in that time frame where I started eating low carb, I eliminated the obvious culprits, the bread, the pasta, the regular soda. I was still eating and drinking all of the diet low carb food because I was very new to this. I wanted to make a small change, started seeing results on the scale. So during that time frame, when I started eating lower carb, this was the research portion of the program. I started researching a ketogenic diet like a crazy person. I watched every video, I read every article, I did absolutely everything in my power to educate myself so that I could dive into this head first without reservation and feel truly confident that I was going towards a lifestyle that was going to make me live my best life life and make me feel like my best self. Some of the things that I watched when I got started, I'll do a quick little list, but then I'll leave some more uh, references down below. Thomas DeLauer. Thomas DeLauer single-handedly changed my life and what I knew about nutrition. He is an absolute genius and I owe so much of who I am today to him. His wife Amber is also amazing. The DeLauers. 
Also, Dr. Ken Berry. Dr. Ken Berry is an incredible advocate to the keto community. He is a medical doctor and he helps people make this change in their life towards health all the time. I absolutely adore Maria Emmerich. She is another amazing, amazing keto fam member. There are too many to name. I've really, these people have become my heroes because my life changed by their power to educate me. Because of them, I'm able to be here with you explaining it in layman's terms because I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor. I am just educated on this topic and I truly enjoy helping people change their lives. So, throughout everything, did the research, started eating low carb while I researched, started dropping weight really quickly. That was motivating. I was probably down close to 10 pounds in the first week or so. And for me to see that change on the scale, I felt so good. That was the fuel to my fire. I'm like, this is working. This is working. My body's responding really well. Yes, I still have all these issues, but man, I feel great. My energy level was through the roof. My sleep was better. I found that I was much more patient with the hurdles in my life with my kiddos. I wasn't snapping and losing my temper quite as often. I just felt good and I felt better. And I was eating delicious food. I was eating steak. I was eating broccoli covered in cheese. I was eating these glorious salads piled with ranch dressing, a taco meat with all this hot sauce and sour cream. I didn't feel like I was suffering and that was very exciting because every diet that I'd ever been on in my whole life felt like freaking punishment. I felt like I was punishing myself like, oh, oh, you can't eat that. Oh goodness, you better get the low fat version of that or the low calorie version of that and while I'm eating it I'm miserable it didn't taste good it tasted like chemicals the list of ingredients was nine miles long I had just never been on a diet before where I felt so incredibly satisfied and so healthy anything I'd ever done before I was freaking starving all the time any diet I had ever done before, I was freaking starving all the time and eating low carb wasn't that way. So as I started to educate myself, I started to become a little bit more strict and a little bit more aggressive with the keto foods that I was eating. I started to cut down on things like diet soda and the crappy artificial sweeteners like aspartame and sucralose and all of those. I started to clean things up. So make the decision to pull the trigger eat low carb, research like a crazy person until you know what you're doing, then go at it. I never tracked my macros. This was an area of my life that you're either a macros tracker or you're not. I'm going to give you guys a personal reason as to why I am not. For many, many years, like I said, I've always battled my weight. So I have an eating disorder history, every eating disorder. You name it, I've done it binge eating, anorexia, bulimia. I have had issues and struggles since I was probably nine years old. So because of that, tracking, writing everything down, tracking every morsel that goes into my body takes me to a very dark place. It takes me to a place where I am judging myself. The self-talk is terrible. I spiral. I punish myself because I didn't have the right numbers that day. It just doesn't work for me. If you want to track your macros, I'm super happy for you. And if that works for you, I am elated. I just mentally can't handle that pressure. So I've never tracked my macros. I know what they are. I am aware that for a lot of people, they can't lose weight without keeping track, but I was not one of those people. As soon as I started eating low carb, the weight started melting off of me. When I went from low carb to eating a stricter keto and incorporating things like intermittent fasting, the weight flew off of me. I lost 120 pounds in 11 months 11 months it was absolutely incredible all the while i'm making beautiful fathead pizzas and these like incredible keto desserts with almond flour and cream cheese i was eating decadent beautiful food that was truly food it wasn't processed packaged garbage and i felt like a million bucks it was easy to stick to because i felt so good the thought of going back to how terrible i felt was 
I wasn't, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to allow myself to spiral into a place where feeling good by eating something, let's say like a cupcake or a donut, it might have felt good right in that second. But the way that I would have felt afterwards, not only mentally, but physically, it just wasn't worth it for me. I didn't have a cheat day or an off plan day for probably that first six to eight months. I really didn't want to undo all of the good things that I was doing for myself. And I felt really confident. And it was the first time in a long time that I could say, man, I feel great about myself, about the way I look, about the way I feel. It was such a game changer. I know that changing your lifestyle can be really intimidating. I know that if you have been eating a certain way for a really long time, that it can seem like a lot of information to take in. But I promise you, it doesn't have to be as hard or as complicated as it is made out to be. You are basically going to switch from eating all kinds of breads and pastas and carbs to eating meats, cheeses, vegetables. It's pretty much that simple. My life has forever changed. I'm not gonna say that I don't still have moments of weakness where I eat whatever I want and suffer the consequences, but this is definitely a lifestyle change for me. I will be eating low carb for the rest of my life, mainly because it makes me the best version of myself. I'm not talking about weight, okay? This isn't just about vanity and about appearance. It truly makes me a better person. More energy, I'm a better mom, I have more more mental clarity than I've ever had in my entire life. So if you've been hesitating on pulling the trigger, I really hope that you will give it a kind of a go round. Even if you start really slow and really simple and just starting to cut back on some of your carbs, you're going to notice so many changes just with that small change. It's going to be easy for you to dive in head first because you're going to be like, wow, this is a really remarkable difference in the way that I felt yesterday and the day before and the day before that. Before you know it, the weight's melting off and you will be the best version of yourself too. If you are struggling or you are restarting, we've all been there. I am here for you. Our whole community of followers is here for you as well. Please join our little family. We have a Facebook page, Keto Ginja, lots of awesome recipes posted there. We have a community group called Keto Ginja Kitchen. A lot of really amazing folks in there that are sharing tidbits about their journey. All levels too. So everyone from brand new beginners to keto veterans, there's a lot of really solid sound advice in there. If you are someone who struggles with recipes and you want things that are luxurious and indulgent, I hope that you will purchase my e-cookbook, Fat Kid Keto. I'll leave the link down below. I had to basically make meals that made me feel like I was cheating and eating all the same old stuff. So... <laughs> That might be a conflicting opinion for some people because we are making such big changes, but for me, I really wanted decadent food and that's what we cook here. So if you're new to the channel, I hope you'll stick around, consider subscribing and checking out some of our other videos that are loaded with all kinds of recipes, how to, what to do, what not to do, and a little bit of humor along the way. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening to my story. I really hope that it motivates you to start unpacking the, the baggage that you have and your reservations that you have about starting keto because it doesn't have to be that hard. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I love you.